along the very long east coast of China, all the pre-1947 immigrants actually came from a very densely populated area, that is the Pearl River Delta and its surrounding counties, where they developed this technology of mud-treated silk. Silk is pretty valuable, so I'm pretty sure that they wouldn't want to get mud on it. The first thing that strikes me is it's oriental. I saw a similar one in the gold exhibition, so maybe it was worn by a Chinese miner. I was wondering if it was silk. It's got a sheen to it. Looks well used, well worn. Yeah. It's almost a, as if it's a, a working suit, like something yeah. to do with manual labor. Maybe. I've seen pictures of other Chinese people wearing this sort of thing, um, like market gardeners and fishermen. It looked comfortable. I wouldn't mind trying it on, but I don't think they'd let me. <laughs> if that was silk pajamas, I'd, I'd, I'd get a pair of that right away. It was very soft and very cool. I would love to wear them. <laughs> Schustein has some mud silk that was bought in 1970, 1960. So what you're handling is not an artifact. You know, I made it for my neighbor, and she bought a bolt of that material in China in, the, oh, in wow. 1960. And she was a scholar of Chinese um, storytelling and literature, and she gave me the bolt of fabric. Yeah, I was really surprised by the texture. I think it was described as a, a whisper of a cloud, and that's basically what it felt like. It was so light. They were made for the very hot and humid weather of Pearl River Delta, yet we found a very large collection in British Columbia. The reason for that clearly was that early immigrants actually brought a lot of what they are familiar with here, and they could have worn them in the summer. I had just one suit <laughs> of that material when I was going to uh, high school. That pair that I had just uh, been made by my mother. The existence of this mud silk collection from BC and the sheer volume of it reveals how much the Chinese migration has impacted this province. Tactile learning is so important, especially for children. Uh, being able to touch something gives them that immediate connection. It connects them to the object or the garment in this case. And being able to touch uh, the example garment that Shirsten had created, we were able to connect ourselves to the garment, unlike we were able to look just by looking at something on the table.